Hello everyone. Today I have a different video. I am shooting the local wildlife here in Hemmental, Switzerland. And as you can see, we have a newt here. This is uh, one of the three main amphibians that I see around. Um, I do not know the scientific name or the local name. At one point I thought this was a European crested newt, but I guess it's not. Uh, because their belly is not spotted. But this is a smaller amphibian species that we can find here. And they are very cool. Winters here get very cold, and even in mid-May, right now, I'm filming this with a coat on, so it's quite cold. But they're hanging outside. They managed to survive by hibernating in the winter and coming out in spring summer. And these have to be kept very, actually quite cold in captivity. And they cannot survive warm tropical terrariums. Cute little guy. Very happy to find one tonight because it's not raining. And I hope you guys like it. Alright, let's look for other critters. And leave this little one alone. Alright, this is the second customer of the local amphibian fauna here. The infamous fire salamander. These beauties are the nominal salamander species. I think they're the salamander salamander. I'm not the best amphibian guys, um, but Not the best amphibian guy, guys, but I can tell you that this is a super cool species. If you know your Harry Potter, salamanders are described as. Flame loving lizards, due to the old European myths about these guys. Fire salamanders are named so because back in the day people would burn wood in fireplaces to get warm, and these guys would crawl out of the fire. So people thought that they were living in the fire and they were fire living creatures however these guys hide in the logs when it's not raining and people would burn those logs and they would come out of the logs obviously to get away from the fire in fact these guys do not like warm weather at all and to keep them in captivity, you need to keep them warm, uh, cold actually. Well, let's say cool at least. Now, one interesting thing is, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there are holes on the sides of its head. And in those holes, there are actually poison glands. And this animal uses them as a defense mechanism. Because if a predator attacks, they will release the poison and the predator will not want to eat the salamander. Anyway, I'm not going to mess too much with this beauty. I'm going to let it go. But anytime when it rains a little bit, 
these guys come out here and I love them because first time I saw them they looked like miniature Gila monsters to me obviously they're not even closely related to Heloderma but still they look like so anyway we will let this guy go to under these huge logs that we have here and let's see if we can get anything else all right fire salamander hey guys here is the other common amphibian you can find here these um, I think they're toads when it rains these things come out like crazy and there's usually a bunch of them around tonight I could only find one and it's a bit shy actually wants to go in back to the forest but normally they just hang around doing nothing um, these, guy lo these guys love the garden ponds that people have here uh, they lay their eggs there and also in the small uh, natural forest ponds and um, they're quite good in breeding I would usually see hundreds of eggs around and tadpoles uh, these guys fall prey to the grass snake Natrix Natrix uh, the grass snake really loves them and uh, the grass snake eats these guys alive actually um, I have seen it happen it's just nature taking its course all right these are the three amphibians that you can find in northern Switzerland and here's a small escargot snail let's uh, say that we have these around as well and also the European slugs the largest slugs in the world um, and they just hang around and live a happy life occasional road kill is a possibility but people are careful um, Switzerland is the only country that I have actually seen a sign that says be careful frogs so it's good alright this was something different for today I hope you guys liked it and sorry for the shaky footage it's hard to balance this without a tripod but I hope you enjoyed it alright have a good day bye